In this session we discussed choosing a WordPress theme. In the last session we discovered that there are a lot of WordPress themes to choose from. And though we may be tempted to choose a theme based only on how it looks, there are other factors to take into account. Beyond the overall look and feel, like the color scheme, the header design, the number of columns, and so forth, you should look at the functionality of a theme and whether it will meet your long-term needs. One factor to consider is how a theme handles navigation. If you are using a theme only for blogging and you do not plan to have any static pages, then a theme without navigation may serve you fine. For instance, this theme does not have a navigation area up on the top or even on the side. However, if you plan to use a theme to power your entire WordPress site, you should investigate a theme's navigation capabilities carefully. If we take a look at the default WordPress theme, for instance, 2010, we take a look at it in action. We, we can get a feel for the, how the theme actually navigates the pages, including the subpages. So you not only want to look at the kind of the design and the placement and the behavior of a navigation for the top level pages but also for the sub pages so when you test it you want to make certain that you're testing it with a site that already has a sub page on it or a child page of a top level page now in addition to that you want to check to see whether or not a site supports the custom menus feature in WordPress. Now, to do that you can go down to appearance and menus. It is, as we discovered in a previous session the creating custom menus is something that's just recently been added to WordPress but is a really nice feature so it would be a shame to choose a theme that didn't support custom menus. So it'll tell us right here whether or not our, our theme supports it. This says that our theme supports one menu and I can select which menu I'd like to use. So if you, if you choose a theme and you activate it and you're kind of fooling around with whether or not you like it, you might want to check there to make certain that it supports at least one custom menu so that you have more control over uh, your navigation menu when you're designing your site. Another thing to consider is if a theme has options that allow it to be easily customized. For instance, can you change the background color or can the header image be changed easily? Does it have custom page templates or does it have its own theme options that allow you to make it even more uniquely yours? Now you can tell a lot from a theme usually by its description and also by the tags that are used to categorize it. And these are the areas in where, where you'll be able to discover the options that a theme has to offer. For instance, we see here that, we, that we, it does support custom menus. It has its own theme options. And then in this theme over here, we see that we can include a custom header, a custom background, and then it also has its own theme options. Now one thing to consider about theme options is, is that they really are specific to particular themes. That's kind of a generic term that, that describes, that, or that explains that this theme has its own options. So if I check out the theme options for this theme, if I activate this theme, and right here it's going to show me the theme options, and I see that I actually have a lot of different theme options for this theme that will help me kind of customize that to, to my needs. However, if I look at a different theme and I look at their theme options, those are going to be different than the theme that I just looked at because those are, like I said, specific to, to individual themes. Now this one has a, a lot of uh, ways in which we can customize it. We could click on background to change the background image or color or upload header. And we'll look at a lot of those, those types of features when we talk about customizing themes in another session. 
Themes available for use on WordPress.com are typically pretty safe. When choosing themes from the WordPress.org directory, however, you should use more scrutiny. So on a self-hosted WordPress site, when you're installing themes, you might want to look a little deeper into the theme details. Now when we go to on, Word, on a WordPress.org or a self-hosted WordPress site, we go to Appearances Themes, and then we click on Install Themes like we discovered in the last session. We have some other searching capabilities. We can look at themes that have been recently updated, we can look at the newest themes, or we can look at some featured themes. But when you're doing this, you especially want to pay attention to not only how the theme has been rated by others, so if we click on the details here, we can take a look at how well a theme has been rated by other people, how many times it's been downloaded, and when it was last updated. Those are good indications that this is a theme that's been well maintained and is probably pretty healthy. And so you, you just want to use a little bit more caution when you um, start looking at themes and choosing themes from the WordPress.org directory. Now this method won't rule out every issue, but it should get you closer to choosing a theme that will meet most of your long-term needs. And this concludes our session.